Hello and welcome. Today I would like to talk about ethics and morality in general and talk about why we need ethics and ethical behaviors in the workplace. Let me give you a scenario or an example. There was a person by the name of Shaw. Shaw was the type of person who would actually oftentimes rely on bribery with his friends. So he tried to bribe teachers and police officers and lawmakers and policymakers and senators to get by with business practices in his company and his organization and during his lifetime. One day his medical doctor told them that Shaw, you have terminal cancer. We will do everything we can to extend your life, but you have basically less than six months to live. So please say your goodbyes and make any final preparations for your transition because the maximum life expectancy for your case would be about six months. Shaw was obviously upset. However, as he was making plans, he decided to approach uh, three of his personal friends individually and confidentially and ask each of them if they can put $20,000 in cash in his coffin. So he gave each of these three friends $20,000 and asked them to please put it in his coffin before he gets buried into the ground. They each told him, come on, Shaw, you'll be alive. Don't worry about it. Uh, but each agreed that they will put the $20,000 cash that they received from Shaw into his coffin. A few months later, Shaw dies and the burial is finished and uh, all the people who gather, they leave, uh, obviously go their own way. However, uh, one of the friends uh, comes to the other two friends and he says, I have a concern. Shaw had given me $20,000 in cash and he asked me to put it in his coffin before he got buried. And um, what I did was basically I knew that Bonnie did $10,000 to a local charity every single year, but this year he didn't do that. So I donated $10,000 to his charity, which he did every single year. And then I only put $10,000 into his coffin. Now I cannot sleep at night because I'm not sure if I did the right thing or the wrong thing in this case. What do you think? Second friend says, well, he also gave me $20,000. And uh, he actually owed me $6,000 for the two acres of land that he had bought from me many years ago. And he had not paid me back. So I took my $6,000 and I put $14,000 into his coffin before the burial. So um, I have the same difficulty as you. I'm not sure if I did the right thing or wrong, but uh, nonetheless, that's what I did. So they go to the third friend and say, what do you think? Did we do the right thing or the wrong thing? The third friend says that neither one of you did the right thing. You made a promise to put the $20,000 into his coffin, but you did not deliver. So you did not do the right thing because you promised, but you did not deliver, and now your friend is dead. He said, he also gave me $20,000 to put into his coffin. So what I did was I took the $20,000, put it into my bank account, and I wrote Shaw a check and I deposited the check into his coffin before he was buried. So I did the right thing. My question for you is, what do you think? Who did the right thing? The first friend, the second friend, or the third friend? You see, each of them made a decision based on their own personal values. All three of them promised to put the $20,000 into his coffin when he was alive. But Shaw is dead now. You made a promise to him. So what would be the right course of action? What would you do? And would you think your decision is the best 
decision or the most ethical decision. If we say ethics is basically doing what you say you would do, if you promise to put the $20,000 into his coffin and you don't do it, then we say you're not ethical because you did not deliver. On the other hand, if we define ethics as doing what is right, then you give the $20,000, all of it, to charity, would that be the right thing to do? You're not personally benefiting from this, but you're also not delivering on what you promised. Would that be ethical? Or would it be ethical to say, well, putting $20,000 into your coffin may not be the right thing to do because it just goes to waste. Why don't you give this to charity? But if you cannot deliver on something, why don't you make that statement to your friend while he's alive? Why would you make a promise that you cannot deliver? So none of us know basically what happens when a person dies. If Shah was concerned that maybe he'll go to hell simply because he believes in hell in heaven and he might be able to bribe somebody on his way to heaven, then that's his belief. Your belief might be different, but if you cannot agree with him and you cannot deliver on your promise, you should make that judgment before you agree. So having said that, it is something that requires deep thinking and when it comes to the organization, instead of allowing individuals to make their own decisions, this is why it's important to have a code of ethics. It is important to have ethics statements. It's important to have training so all individuals decide according to the corporation's values rather than their own individual values because what I might do and decide may not be aligned with your values or everybody else's values in the organization. So we all need to decide according to the core values of the organization and that requires some training, reflection, and maybe in some cases collective decision making and collective debates and brainstorming about what is right and what is wrong. Whatever you do, try to be ethical in every decision you make. If you cannot be, then be careful. Good luck.